Welcome back to uh, Measurement, this time looking at the perimeter. Um, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Good to see you again. Hang on in there. Let's build up some skills. Look around the screen. I think you get an idea of the perimeter. Uh, up here, we're looking at putting a brick border maybe around the lawn. And we'd want to know how far this is going to go and measure the total distance around the outside. I think you might remember perimeter. You could Google search that word and see where it came from. A little bit of Latin in there. Perimeter, perimeter. Okay, and over here uh, we might want to uh, fence this lawn area or something uh, and want to know the, all these distances around here so we could put a fence up. Or what about this? A nice looking house there. Um, we've got a rounded part around all these windows here and uh, we might want to put uh, a specific uh, um, timber around that and we want to know the length that we uh, we need for that so uh, there's a there's a lot of sort of shapes that we uh, might find a little bit tricky so uh, let's have a look at finding the perimeter of these objects very important in building now uh, to be able to do that accurately we don't want a gap in our fence because we didn't have enough or uh, we we didn't have enough room for the next brick that sort of stuff so it's got to be exact let's go and have a look at uh, some of the ideas here so here the perimeter of a figure is a measure of the distance around its boundary distance around its boundary right around the outside so here's an easy one just add up all those lengths and you'll get the right um, length of fence you need to enclose that particular shape. This one's a little bit uh, more difficult. This is like a running track. Because you've got the curved ends, how do you find the distance around a curve? Hey, I think that's got something to do with circles, mate. Is that circumference and all that stuff? I think so. We'll be doing that. So this is an easy one. Six, then you've got this distance, then you've got this, then you've got this. So we're going to go into all of these and make sure no matter what shape we come across, we could actually find uh, the distance around its boundary and maybe fence it off, whatever that is. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at an example. Uh, coming up here, find the perimeter of something like this, a triangle. Well, the important thing here is to see these equal signs. Uh, they mean equal sides. So this distance over here is also 9.7. You've got to spot that, mate. And so to go around, we would go 13.2 goes from there to there, and then two lots of 9.7 takes us right around. Okay, so that little idea there. Uh, perimeter of this one, fairly easy stuff. Two there, two marks means that's equal as well. This one mark and one mark means those two are equal. So what do you got? To go around this, you've got two lots of 4.2 and two lots of 6.7. Okay, so you want to play with some of that just basic addition stuff and uh, keep your wits about you that you're doing it accurately. Okay, so this is a triathlon course and you're doing swim, bicycle, etc. And uh, you'll need to look at the diagram to answer these, but I think that's not too bad, that one. Okay, so there's question one to four. Have a look. Uh, just be able to read the diagrams. Got to be careful there. Um, and then I'll show you the answers there. Okay. So uh, there are the answers. Uh, go back, just check any little errors you might have. Must be able to do this accurately. Don't want any gaps in the fences, mate. Okay, let's have a look at a, a more interesting problem. Here's a clothesline, uh, fairly old-fashioned now, um, and let's say that these, these are wires in here where you hang the clothes in, uh, on these here. So that's uh, from uh, looking down from the top elevation, they're looking down on the clothesline. These are the supporting uh, beams on the corners here going right diagonally across. Okay, and then it's supported by this pole in the middle. Do you get it? We want the cost of rewiring the clothesline. The wire is 32 cents a metre. 5% extra wire is required to tie the wires at the ends. And the hardware still saw only sells the wire in whole metre lengths. So we want to total up the perimeters of all these here, don't we? All these, the perimeters. The perimeters of the three squares. So one is 2 metres square. So there's four lots of 2 metres. Make that little square in the middle. 4 lots of 2.6 and 4 lots of 3.2.
If you add them all up, you've got 31.2 metres. That's your total length of wire just to do the wiring, but we've got to tie it off. So you want an extra 5%. Do you remember this from before? You want 100% of 31.2 plus an extra 5%, that's 105%, which is uh, percent means divide by 100 or per 100, so that means you'll multiply by 1.05. Okay, so they're doing that here. So that's actually the total amount of wire you need for tying off as well. Now, you can only buy it in whole metre lengths. So you better get 33 metres, okay? So there's some practical aspects here. That's our idea of mass applications. You're going to put the course into action in a practical way. So what's the cost? 33 metres at 32 cents a metre, $10.60. Don't tell them $10.56. Okay. So uh, in these days, if that was uh, on FBOS, you'd be charged $10.56. You're paying cash, they'd round it down. $10.55 because we haven't got cents there and $10.55 cash rounded down ok um, let's go on and have a look at whether you can do some problems of a practical nature now so here are some here uh, 5, 6 and 7 think about drawing diagrams perhaps to help you um, let's have a look at 8 Okay, and now I'm going to uh, show you the uh, answers to this in a minute. So, pause presentation, have a go. And there they are there. Okay, so some answers there for those questions. All right, let's go on and do some more complicated stuff. Oh, that house again, not a bad looking house, that one. Okay, so we're going to look at this curve problem here. Okay. So, obviously, yes, it is a circle, or a part of a circle, isn't it? Then the perimeter of a circle is called its circumference, difference, the distance around the outside, the circumference. You've got the diameter, which is the line going through the centre, joining two points on the circumference. It's got to go through the centre. And you've got the radius. So the circumference is pi times the diameter, or and the diameter is 2 radii. You know, there's a, let's go back up here to this one and that's a radius and that's a radius so a diameter consists of going from the centre out to the sides so it's two radii so you can use either of these two circumference formula, formulae ok so that's going to help you get around that window there which got a curved bit let's have a look so let's practice it find to two decimal places the circumference of a circle diameter 13.8 we'll give them the diameter we might as well use pi times the diameter and that's metres we're going into a fair bit of detail here why would we go to two decimal places if we're working in metres uh, I wonder if you can see well 0.35 is 35 hundredths of a metre so we're actually going to the nearest centimetre a hundredth of a metre is a centimetre so this implies that would be 35 centimetres to the nearest centimetre. So that's why we might want to go to two decimal places there. What about something with a radius 3.7 kilometres? That's huge. 3.7 kilometres. Then 2 pi r, you've got a radius of 3.7 kilometres, so you'll multiply by 2 pi r. So if they give you a radius, it's probably best to use that formula. They give you a diameter use that one so you can put it straight into the formula let's have a look at doing some practice exercises on that so here's question 9 have a go there you answer that uh, down below after I go, go through this next uh, example and here we are so this is like the window of the house we want the perimeter of this so if we look at this first one uh, we see the diameter of that we've got to come down here see how it perfectly sits on A and B no gaps so its diameter through there would be the same as this 10.8 that'll be a little bit tricky there so it's a semicircle ok so it's going to be half the formula half pi times d and you can do that in metres to two decimal places that'll give you to the nearest centimetre 
and then of course we've got to go around the rest of it if we're framing the whole window 4.2 another 4.2 there 10.8 so it's 10.8 plus two lots of 4.2 plus our half circle there so 36 approximately 36.16 meters okay so you just got to be careful and accurate okay we want the framing to meet no gaps in the middle or something like that so here's some practice problems for you with those different shapes or so here's our our brick problem down here okay so there's 10 11 and 12 or part of 12 we come down here there's the rest of 12 and 13 and 14 interesting one here circular pond and you've got a, a fence that's a practical problem have a go at that one that's an interesting one okay let's go and have a look at the answers did you get those okay have a go very good all right i hope you enjoy uh, building up some of this practical these practical abilities here with mathematics and coming up uh area and volume also very practical so uh, i'll catch you then cheers for now